Welcome to this tutorial for our new feature, Calculations for Requirement Yogi Cloud. The traceability matrix helps you build reports to check the progress of your project, test results, and more. But we wanted to bring more value to those reports and allow you to add more data and perform all sorts of calculations on your requirements. Here is a traceability matrix to take as an example. I displayed the first level business requirements and their children. They each have external properties with some values. You can perform the calculation directly on your business requirements, but this will help you see what we calculate. On the first column, click on the COG menu and Calculation. We have highlighted two calculations we think are the most common. The percentage of completion will be calculated using an aggregation for every children which has an external property status. Here, you can see that 50% of BR's children have the status approved. The sum of estimates will be a simple addition of all the external properties estimates on your children requirements. If you want to build your own formula, then we have two editors for you. We rely on the text of the formula, and this is the only data that we save. However, the graphical editor is a great way to build the correct syntax, get suggestions for values, and visualize what types of parameters are expected by each function. We really encourage you to take time to play extensively with this graphical editor, and it has a direct and immediate translation with the text form of the formula. Starting with the two previous examples is a great way to explore how calculations are built using the graphical editor. Concerning the capabilities of the formula, they can perform calculations not only on requirements, but they can also follow dependencies and read values from children and grandchildren. The values are typed, they can be lists of requirements, numbers, true or false, or strings. Errors will be detected and reported in red in the cell. You will be able to find all this information in great detail in our documentation. Arithmetic operations such as simple additions, divisions, multiplications, aggregation functions to count requirements in a given list, averages, sums, max, and mins, Mathematical functions such as absolute value of a number or formulas that will return the nearest integer greater than or equal to a number. Conditional functions with ifs and booleans, count ifs, sum ifs, and more. When you work, pay attention to the absence of values or null values. For example, a percentage over the status property can cover all requirements or only requirements where the status is defined. Information about nulls is available in both the documentation and in the visual editor. Similarly, pay attention to duplicates. Since the same requirement can appear as a child of several parents, there is usually a little checkbox distinct to only perform the sum on all grandchildren or only non-repeated grandchildren. With this incredible toolbox, would you be able to detect when a project is over budget or show a message when an assembly is too heavy according to the specs? Tell us in the comments. There are a couple of limitations to be aware of. For now, we cannot perform calculations on JIRA fields, such as status for example. We apply the current user's permissions, so the results of calculations can be different if you perform calculations over spaces that are not visible to you. Last point, the calculations are executed every time the traceability is loaded, and for complex formulas, it may take some time. We will set limits in the future, after we've monitored the weight of calculations on our systems. To be updated about those limits, don't forget to check out the documentation. We're expecting you to come up with extraordinary ideas about this feature, so please write them in the comments. When our engineers build such features, they often have open questions that we would like to discuss with real-life users. For this feature, it has been very useful to interview people from our discussion group. If you're interested in participating to such interviews, you can join this group on our website. And we're done! We have many tutorials. Watch them to become an expert at Requirement Yogi.